Good afternoon ladies and gentlemen, your boy Vertus here and welcome back to the Adobe Photoshop design series. In today's video we are going to be taking a quick look at how we can adjust some of the colours for our photos inside of Photoshop using adjustment layers. Now the two adjustment layers that I'm going to be going over in today's video is going to be the colour balance adjustment layer and also the vibrance adjustment layer as well. So the colour balance adjustment layer is essentially going to allow us to balance our, our photo within a certain bunch of colours. We'll be going over that in a bit more detail and our vibrance tool is pretty much going to allow us to control the vibrance in our photos. Now these are two really really simple adjustment layers that we can play around with so it's just going to be a short video but starting things off what I'm going to do is I'm actually going to start off by showing you how to use the vibrance adjustment layer. To create it just go to adjustments click vibrance and that is it. Once you're in there just select it go to properties and then from here you get two little tracks that you can move along. Pretty straightforward to both of these, vibrance is pretty much how vibrant your colours are going to be inside of your scene. So if you turn it up really really high, you can see it does look very vibrant, very bright. The colours are bright anyway, there's no highlights or anything like that, it's just the colours themselves that are going to get quite bright. If you turn this down, you're going to see it's going to take a little bit of the vibrance away. Now bear in mind, this isn't going to make it completely absent of colour. If you want to make it absent of colour, that's what you've got your saturation for. So with your saturation, if you want to get rid of all the colour, set this all the way down to minus 100, and if you want to add extra colour, you can set this all the way up to something like 94. Now bear in mind, saturation and and vibrance are two completely different things so have a play around with them so let me show you so let's say I set my vibrance up to plus 40 with my saturation to zero you can see it looks quite nice however if we do the same thing with saturation and leave our vibrance to zero it just looks a little bit odd it just doesn't look right instead play around with vibrance as opposed to saturation unless you really need to so, what I'm going to do is I'm actually going to leave that vibrance layer there and I'm going to turn down my saturation a little bit and I'm actually going to turn my vibrance up just a little bit to make the next layer a little bit easier to see. So, the reason why I've left that, it just really brings out the colours and when we do go and colour ban balance this picture, it's just going to be that much easier to see. So, what we're going to do next is we're going to create a colour balance adjustment layer. Once again, go to adjustments, colour balance and then from here you get a bunch of different tracks. So you've got your shadows, your midtones, and your highlights and you can change these individually one by one. So for example, if you wanted to select your shadows, from there you could change the colour of your shadows to give a bit more red to them, a bit more green, a bit more blue. You can send it more towards the yellow, the magenta, the cyan, it's entirely up to you. Now shadows, midtones and highlights are completely different things and you sort of need to get your head around what each one of these are going to do. Shadows, pretty straightforward. This is going to be the darker parts of your image, you know, shadows. Midtones are going to be sort of your average tones really, so midtones are going to be things that are sort of medium coloured. So for example, my face is going to be a midtone because it's not completely white and it's not quite bright. So let's say I move this towards the blue or let's say I move this towards the yellow, you can see my face sort of get a little bit more yellow. The background does sort of get a little bit discoloured because it is also a midtone, so you've got to figure out which bit of your image is which and then just move it along accordingly. And then lastly, you've also got your highlights. Now your highlights are going to be your things that are really, really bright. So that's going to be things like your sky, your lights, and so on. So let's go and change the highlights of um, the cyan. And you can see it's going to be the lighter colors that get affected. So not so much my shirt, but more the whiter, the lighter color in the background over on the right hand side, my skin, my face, that kind of thing. And you can turn this all the way up, all the way down. You can make me raw red if you want to. And you can really see that red coming to life on the highlights there it's a really strong color I can do the same for the green you can see the lighter colors become really exposed and they become you know quite green and you can see it's happening to the most to the lighter parts like the bottom section of my face here and the background and so on so really what I want you guys to do is go through your shadows your midtones your highlights try and figure out the difference between all of those and then from there just play around with your color tracks add them more towards the RGB scale or the cyan magenta and yellow scale it's entirely up to you but anyway guys that is pretty much everything for those two adjustment layers there is so many more adjustment layers that you've got available to you 
play around with them, and once again, thanks for watching, stay awesome, keep creating, your boy Virtus, signing out.